Feature Friday. The freshest. <laughs> okay, so this is autotune versus no autotune. Rich Brian, Nikki, and Stephanie Poetry. We actually like them all three. I think they're really cool no, vocalists. I, I think it's fair to say that I think out of all of those three, I think all three of them are genuine performers, like genuine yeah, singers. It's yeah, not yeah. like, here's the thing as well with autotune, right? It's also, it's gonna, it's gonna sound funny, but actually understanding autotune and utilizing it, it's actually a skill. It is, I agree. It's it's not easy to... It's not like you can pick up a microphone and just go ahead and like sing. Yeah, so someone yeah, that no, no, no. doesn't sing at all and where, was to use autotune or was to have autotune in their recordings, it's not gonna sound great. Like, so a good he example... He has to understand it. Yeah. good example of that is Tory Lanez. Like he's someone that's, He's, he's utilized it as a tool, really, to create a sound. Um, whether he's the best singer a cappella, I don't know. I've never seen him in that environment. <laughs> maybe he could be. Maybe he is. Maybe he is. No idea. But he's been able to utilize it to create a sound. And then he mi mixed with reverb and some of his plugins that he's probably made just for him. And So it's, it's very interesting when they do things like this. It's like utilizing technology to your advantage. But in this case of this three, and we have checked out a, a big... Uh, uh, range of indonesian artists i mean yeah. i'd say somewhat big yeah so maybe, maybe like 12 singers we know from the from indonesia and uh that's not big as well no it's that it was really uh, funny my head is like big <laughs> yeah and um it yeah it seems to be one of those places where i think the live performances are better yeah than the studio it, versions. yeah i think you got really pr really solid uh, performers overall that know how to utilize the environments really well yes. and uh, that's that's really Interesting, that doesn't happen often, so... So let's give let's it... It's a, oh, it's it genius, right, it's okay. It's genius, so it's gonna be a cappella, cappella. Yeah, 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 nothing, nothing behind it, which is really cool. Wonder what I'll do when the cops come through and the whiskey's run out. Cause I've been looking at you since half past two, wanna take this downtown. Wonder what I'll do when the cops come through and the whiskey's run out. What I find difficult, though, in this environment is pitching, like, where where's your starting note? So... Well, you're hearing genius. That's why I feel like it's a little bit unfair in genius sometimes. Because you don't get, like, a reference note. And you just gotta, like, randomly start singing. And if you haven't listened to your song beforehand, yeah, the starting note, you might be starting in a totally, completely different key, which I think is the, is the section that we're listening to. So it's not really fair to compare that <laughs> from the record and the and the acapella version. Yeah, genius seems to be the place of, like... Uh... You know, you're a kid and you sing and then you go to a party. Oh, sing this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's but like, no one ever tells you like what fucking key or where to start. And you're yeah, like, nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like your own pace. and Memories. The, yeah, and literally. And it turns out it's like two keys are, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sometimes you shoot yourself on the foot sometimes. You know, it's like, oh, I'm going to start here. And then it turns out to be too low. Or it's just funny. You got you to gotta have really nice pitching already yeah. so also, far so good though the only difference in science is just obviously that one's the compressed key. and the other one the key's different the key's and different. this one's raw but she sounds amazing either way though She's i good really like her yeah so it's a completely different key but yeah but it's that. same texture same uh, uh, you know See, it's too low. <laughs> it's, it's, I, that, I just, but that's not on purpose. No. She actually doesn't know. I really like her, dude. Yeah, fuck, that's like two keys. Oh, maybe not one. No, it's just like half a note under. I really like her outfit. I don't know why it's not too much. See, it's just all over the place on the key. It's all fair, bro. She sounds so good, anyways. Yeah, she's a good singer, dude. Just give her a guitar. Like, you know, yeah. Nick, it's a joke. I think I think she genuinely shines in acoustic settings, and I uh, and I wish I wish maybe sometimes in Genius they would just allow them to either have like a little uh, keyboard, yeah, some sort of like guidance or a guitar, 
Yeah. So I, I mean, think... Stephanie, I think plays, and uh, Nicky definitely plays the guitar. I don't yeah. know if Rich Ryan plays anything, but I'm pretty sure he can get around the keyboard. Just press one key and let's see where you go. I just think. But Rich I... is probably gonna rap. Or that. if you want to keep it in that same in, in that same atmosphere, because that's what Genius is known for being that really raw, nothing else but. Yeah. Uh, the voice. I think. I think you could. You could at least allow some type of like guidance. Play the song beforehand before they try it. Just give because, it a phone. Yeah, yeah. Just some some type of like starting note type of uh, feel because it it just makes it really hard for for the artist itself. I think also it just I, the, the the pitching part of it is hard. Also that she went half. Do you think it's half a note down? Yeah. Um, who the fuck knows? It could be I half think, a note. I, I think. I think you're I have right. a feeling. It's also safe to do so because if you overshoot or if you go in the same key, you might actually end up either saturating there or seeing like you're fucking trying your nuts off, yeah. you know, and then you and get those moments. And it's, it's actually about breaking the lyrics, exactly. isn't it? It's not about the vocal quality. No, I understand like that. Like a vocal showcase. It's Absolutely. not really what Genius is about. She's really good though. I really like what she's able to do and I'm a fan of her acoustic and her... Uh, intimate setting type of sounds a, a lot i i actually consume a lot of her content that way it's it she's awesome okay stephanie poetry all right let's have a look friend i think she's awesome in your whole god aware and all i could think is where is the ring i see you sitting there she's so fun isn't she she's like she's so cool i really like her <laughs> Aww, she's so wholesome. You just want to hold her and hug her and be like, ha ha She sounds exactly the same. Nice. I can see it in your eyes. Just take me by surprise. Literally the same. <laughs> this is so cool. I can see it. I actually like it without the depth. Just take me by surprise. I, I love it. Damn. It just gives a bit of depth. It's the so nice. She sounds the same. Yeah, she's one of those artists that I would a thousand percent pay to watch her life. Oh, a hundred percent. Any money she asks. She is so good. I freaking adore her. I think she's got such a nice sweet lovely texture to her vocals it's i love when she goes into that falsetto that is like not nearly there and it's 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 breathy and it's i don't know she really is connected to to her lyricism as well and it really shines through it's like an amplifier of her personality and yep. i feel like i'm included into her little world i feel like i'm an intimate friend of hers and, and that is something so special you don't find that often so I really like her. Like you said, I would I would definitely pay money to see her in an acoustic setting uh, or, or in a live band type of like performance. It's definitely worth it. I think she's a good example of genuinity gets you far. Also, less is more. You don't have to be like riffing all over every single phrase, you know? Yeah, true. I, I, yeah. I think she's pinnacle of genuinity. When, yeah. when, when you truly mean what you say and what, what you... Uh, it's like you live that life. Yeah, definitely. You know? and, and you can also, her skill level is also alongside that Jedi Winnie which is able to portray what she's truly feeling through a song and tonality and intent and the textures and falsettos and all the technical vocal stuff. Um, so yeah. she, she's, she's at this point where like intent, emotional stability and storytelling is alongside her skill. I so agree, I agree. She's a really interesting artist to... Uh, I feel to see keep progressing develop because it's, yeah. it's scary really what the hell's next yeah because I think I think in her in her case the future is about rooted in her genuinity you know and like opening up that world a bit more including us in a bit more you could just say making music that literally yeah. is, you win yeah she does she yeah. really does I really like her bro I wonder if there's someone out there that doesn't know that reference. 
Oh, I don't know, Saw bro. Saw a car crash, it reminded me of my first date. Then I went back, got massages at that one place. So we brought a friend, but today I feel like doing this shit alone. Saw a car crash, it reminded me of my first date. Then I went back, What a song, what the hell? So we brought a friend, but today I feel like doing this shit alone. Wow, he likes okay. to play with tempo. <laughs> I was gonna say, can we have a moment for that production? So, the, go back to the acapella bit. Again, it's just a pitching. I really wow, that's a good freaking song. like that eeriness, weird, dark stuff happening in the in the music production of this song. You got that really eerie, experimental type of like rap with like melodic rapping thing happening. It's cool. I've always liked his artistic development in, in music. Yeah. Like uh, he's he really creative. Uh, he's very, very creative. Not only visually, but lyrically speaking, also ha goes hand in hand with that uh, music production that goes into his tracks. It's really dope. I think it's I think it's dangerous. I think, I think honestly, it's, it's a good choice uh, that they've kept. Well, I mean, I'm sure he produces some of his music and he's involved in the studio. He seems to be that type of personality. Yeah, I um, think so. But it's it's really cool that they managed to uh, maintain his because uh, he's on purpose. We've heard some of his other music, and in this one, it seems to be done on purpose where they kept some of his uh, vocal. Um, speech tendencies yes 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 you know and uh, and kind of like mannerisms and how and they kind of like amplify them a little bit because this, this is like an inner monologue yeah, type yeah, yeah. thing it's, it's very like good a, it's very well done yeah it's like an inner dialogue that's happening i really like it cool. he is cool call him my dad one i want to hear some wisdom call him my cab alcohol up in my system so a fist fight and the shit don't even make me scared no more <laughs> Yeah, if you want to find out, we're scared of cat. <laughs> Get in a fight, bro. Let's no, go. No, no, no. See how you'd react to one. I've never been the one to be alone. All my friends are always there and on my phone. Every day we spend with everybody, never on my own. But today I'm by myself and I don't even feel alone. I love, I just clock that he's wearing an 88 Rising logo as his nice, necklace. Represent. That's really cool. And never mind, Moon and Bro. I like that label a lot. I love him. I'm by myself and I don't even feel alone. Man, I've never been the one to be alone. It was like ice skating, is it? Yeah. All my friends are always there and on my phone. See, even that's hard. Can we? The pitching there is really difficult because he goes down even further. So he, you already started at a at a really uh, low grounded speech quality. The the beginning of that verse. Like when you go into this section, he drops half a note down. So you you go, going into even more depth. So in the studio, that's easy to do because you're rested. So it's easy to find that really low really grounded speech quality but when you're in a environment like genius finding those those qualities and making them actually sound nice is very difficult so i would i personally would have done what rich is doing here maintain it maintain it yeah sound. or go go on the octave so you're doing you're doing a little bit more of like a heightened type of like speech rather than a retrospective mm. one right but also it, I, that kind of like that sustained tension of like of that note change yeah. it kind of makes it even more eerie at yes. least to me yeah, right definitely and i think that's kind of the, in, the, the intent. intention yeah um, but yeah it's good choice by him because like you also it. want to be safe here you don't want there's no need to showcase more than you should everybody knows what your product is at yeah. this point it's, so it's, it's lyrics so exactly exactly it's, good. it's cool like to smoke cigs every time I feel the outside. Like to play chicks, but get mad when nigga new guys. You don't get me, but I don't blame you. I don't get myself. <laughs> That's so cool. Hello. Is that actually him? That's not him. Is that him? I didn't know he could like skate. I skate. Like huh. like proper skate skate. That's so quick on. Look at him. He's that proper skate in there. Go left, go left, just play that a little bit. Wait, wait, wait. This is actually him. 
Is it him? I think it is, bro. What a cool skill to have. Is can actually, I watch that video? Does anyone know if he actually can ice skate like that? Because that is fucking impressive. Wow! Well, it wouldn't oh. surprise me though. Like, he wouldn't blow my freaking yeah, nuts away. Probably... He's one of those, like, guys that could probably master everything. And then, that is, if that is true, if that is him, I have no idea because it's good camera work and I have yeah. no clue. And it's, uh, like, silhouette-ish yeah. and stuff. But then that would allude a lot to his uh, artistry. I would agree. I would agree. <laughs> so, and if it's not him, why choose an ice skating ring? That is that so what's is the story weird. Behind that? Anyways, yeah. Go on. yeah, weird in the sense of why? Like, yeah, like that it's is such a peculiar. Choice. That thing makes sense, bro. Go on, you know? Oh, they always acting real tough, but I show up for a show and they just want to leave town. People saying that my words are coded that I went to. Brian not beat us, so I never have a filter. They always acting real tough, but I show up for a show and they just want to Dude, this song is so peculiar, I want to hear it. I just really love the freaking beat production, it's just nuts. That is a very peculiar song. If anyone kindly knows um, what the name of the song is, and uh, drop it down in the comment section below, we'll absolutely check it out. That is very, it's very peculiar. So it's probably the one that's uh, yeah. caught me the most because it's so uh, unusual. It makes peculiar choices often. Yeah, it does. And not only, not only in the arrangements of the song itself, but like the ri the rhythmical phrasing of uh, the the patterns that he's going through, uh, rapping as well. Because it's not really rapping. It's like yeah, it's like speech quality combined with some melodic speaking, right? So no, it's, it's, like, no, it's like speech quality with bars. Yeah, it's weird. It's really nice though, but because it's really retrospective. It's yeah. like an inner dialogue and I really re I really respect that because that's not easy to do in any type of environment. So Well, let us really know what dope. you thought about it. Uh, obviously, I think it's a strong case that all these three artists can solid there. Um, anyways, let us know maybe if you'd like to check out any other artists in this kind of environment. So I'm sure a lot of you guys uh, have sent like uh, in like different artists like this and like Genius and then their studio version and uh, we'll, we'll check it out. Yep.